10K dramas starring Kim Bum that prove his versatility as an actor. Boys Over Flowers star Kim Bum has definitely gone a long way since making our young hearts swoon as the artistic F4 member So Yi Young. Case in point, he's currently keeping us at the edge of our seats with his latest legal drama Law School. Kim Bum's versatility as an actor is unquestionable, having been in the industry for more than 15 years. In fact, his rawness and honesty on screen is testament to how he is in real life he revealed he prefers being straightforward in this article. So, while we wait for the next Law School episode to drop, we've rounded up 10 binge-worthy K-dramas that show Kim Bum's impressive acting chops, whether he's your lead, friend, or foe. 1. Boys Over Flowers, 2009. Of course, Boys Over Flowers, aka the show that put Kim Bum on the map, just has to be part of the list. In case you haven't seen it yet for some reason, the drama follows the story of poverty-stricken high school student Jiam Jan Dai as she enters the prestigious school of Shin HWA High, attended by Korea's wealthiest kids. There, she gets off to a rough start after being bullied by Gu Jun Pio, the leader of the F4, a group consisting of the school's most famous heartthrobs. Alongside Jun Pio are his childhood best friends, Yoon Ji Hu, So Yi Young, and Song Wu Bin. Things get complicated when a love triangle forms between Ji Hu, Jan Dai, and Jun Pio, which begs the question, who will Jan Dai choose in the end? On the other hand, Kim Bum plays Yi Young, an artistic potter and womanizer who slowly develops feelings for Jan Dai's best friend. 2. Dream, 2009. Kim Bum plays the wayward character Lee Jang Sok in his other 2009 drama Dream. The series kicks off when Jang Sok is released after spending time in a juvenile detention center for being a pickpocket. He then meets Nam Jae Il whose success as a sports agent ends after his most popular client is caught in a drug scandal. Together, they strive to get back on their feet with Jang Sok aiming to be a K1 champion fighter, while Jae Il recovers his reputation as a sports agent. 3. The Woman Who Still Wants to Marry, 2010. This romantic comedy drama follows the friendship of three 34-year-old women, Lee Shin Young, Jung Da Young, and Kim Bi Yu Ji as they navigate their way through life and love. Broadcast journalist Shin Young is optimistic about her love life despite her career getting in the way. On the other hand, her old friend Da Young is clueless about love but hopes to snag a perfect rich husband within the year. After sparks fly in a blind date and a relationship ensues, she marries Dr. N.A. Ban Sok who eventually makes her realize that marriage life is not at all like a fairy tale. Rounding up the trio is successful restaurant consultant Kim Bugi who's less than fortunate in the dating game. She remains content with being single and acts as the group's love guru. Kim Bum plays Ha Min Jae, a college student and talented musician who starts a relationship with Shin Young who's 10 years his senior. 4. Padam Padam, 2011. Padam Padam has Kim Bum stepping into a fantasy K-drama. He plays the guardian angel Lee Guk Su who's best friends with the show's lead Yang Kang Chol, a man sentenced to 16 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. While in prison, he accidentally kills a guard resulting in his execution. As his final moments loom, he is given a second chance at life. Following his release, he travels to Seoul and meets Jang Jna. Despite their rocky start, they are drawn to one another and fall in love, but everything falls apart when Kang Chol discovers a crucial element to his wrongful conviction years ago. 5. Goddess of Fire, 2013. If you're into historical dramas then this one's for you. Goddess of Fire is based on the real-life story of Bak Pa Sun, the first lady porcelain maker in the Joseon dynasty, before she was captured by the Japanese. In the drama, Bak Pa Sun is depicted as Yu Young, a passionate girl gifted in the art of pottery who strives to become the best porcelain artist despite it being a man's job. Along the way, she captures the heart of Prince Gwang Hai. However he is not the only man in Yu Young's story as Kim Bum plays her childhood friend Kim Tae Do. We see Kim Bum in the role of a righteous and considerate military officer whose loyalty to Yu Young surpasses any challenge that comes his way. 6. That Winter, The Wind Blows, 2013. After losing all the people he loved, Oh Su turns to high-stakes gambling and philandering to fill the void. As he targets rich women to con, he sets his eyes on Oh Young, a blind heiress of a large corporation his easiest pick yet, or so he thought. The con artist sees an opportunity to disguise as Oh Young's missing brother, aiming to take her riches and repay his debts. 
Despite inheriting a large conglomerate, Oh Young shares similar woes after having been brought up alone which has led her to be skeptical towards love. Can the trickster keep up his act or will they both discover their heart's missing pieces? As a supporting character in the drama, Kim Bum takes the role of Park Jin Sung, Oh Soo's co-worker. 7. Hidden Identity, 2015. An elite squad of undercover homicide detectives is formed to bust high-profile crimes even if that means circumventing the law. This secret unit, number 5, is led by Superintendent Zhang Moon won together with Cha Gun Wu, Zhang Minju, and Choi Tae Payung. Did you know that to portray the dark and vengeful Cha Gun Wu, Kim Bum underwent a drastic transformation by losing 14 kilograms, cutting his hair, and growing a slight mustache and goatee. We love his dedication to stray from his usual sweet person in this drama. 8. Mrs. Cop 2, 2016. Following the success of Mrs. Cop Season 1, this sequel focuses on a new female lead, Detective Ko Yoon Young. After completing six years of FBI training in New York, Yoon Young returns to Korea with the intent of unearthing a previous murder case. Her arrival prompts the police department to offer her the lead position in Crime Squad Team 1 after their original head steps down. Her team is formed with Bae Dae-hoon, Kang Sang-chul, Oh Sing-el, and Shin yo ok and they immediately set off to investigate CEO Lee Ro-joon, Kim Bum, the primary suspect of their first assignment. While K-drama fans are used to seeing Kim Bum take the good side, this K-drama tests out his acting chops as a first-time villain. 9. Tale of the Nine-Tailed, 2020. Tale of the Nine-Tailed, also known as the Tale of Gamiho, marks the return of Kim Bum to the K-drama scene after spending time in the military. This also continues his villain streak as the evil Gamiho, Nine-Tailed Fox, Lee Rang, opposite Lee Dong-wook's character, Lee Yun. Driven by his emotions, Lee Yun gives up his guardian of the mountain status to search for his one true love. While away, the mountain succumbs to disarray and is invaded by humans. This causes his half-brother, Lee Rang, to escape while harboring hatred towards humanity. Meanwhile, Lee Yun makes a deal with the afterlife, ensuring the reincarnation of his true love as he searches for her and, in exchange, offers his services to kill evil creatures. In the present, Lee Yun settles in the city and attracts the attention of a woman named Nam Jr after she realizes that he saved her from a life-threatening event in her childhood. 10. Law School, 2021. Proving that Kim Bum is a chameleon actor, this time he steps into the shoes of first-year law student, Han Jun HWI in the ongoing crime and mystery drama Law School. After an unusual event transpires in the prestigious Hankook University, terror professor Yan Jong-hoon and his determined students suddenly find themselves embroiled in the strange case. If you're still mulling over riding the law school hype, here are five reasons why you should definitely get in on this show ASAP. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button, and if you have something to say, please leave a comment.